like to keep bookmarks. People will just keep those links to good places because they needed it themselves. It was useful. And that sometimes they kept the links because they just didn't want other people to come and ask them questions. There were a lot of incentives for people to make good, usable links. Now, so there's this link incentive structure that the value of your page is really a product of the value of the things that you link to, plus the explanation of what's on your page. And those two things together really produce this system, the client server system, where the user is using the client, and there's a publisher of information that's using the server. And that scam, that works. Okay, we're celebrating. Quite a lot of things. Goodness knows how many things that I thought of didn't work. <laughs> uh, we all sorts of things that didn't work. That one did. That's, uh, that's pretty neat. Uh, it led to this web explosion and all this stuff out there. And lots and lots of issues. We won't go through all of the issues. One of them, which will come in later, is that people felt they could find stuff. They realized that there was so much stuff out there, but by following 10 links, they were getting to a ridiculous number of possible pages. So they get this. There was actually a fear that went around. Uh, and people felt that because anything could be on the web, because they could read anything, some people felt they had to read everything. This <laughs> so, they, so the syndrome of people burning the night oil, you know, this is the days when people had dial-up connections and computers in their basements. People being in the basements days on end, trying to surf things away. That's getting a kick out of <gasps> what there is out there, but not to no useful away. That was that. that, that was the, the, and so after a while, people realized that there was more stuff out there than they could surf, and they wanted to be able to get this more efficiently. So the, the, now I can't, I can access information, but I can't find it all the English. There were lots of other issues. Just looking at the design, elements of the design, two, I can put one of them is universality. The web had to be universal space. Why? Because I've seen people design systems which weren't in some way. I've seen people get up in front of the same community and give a talk about the documentation system which everybody should use and about how all you have to do is to take your data, transfer it to the mainframe, and at that point, you're half the audience says, oh, hello, mainframe, we have computers, you know, we, have, we have PC, we have Macs, your mainframe is, 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 is that's history. You know, and so, so, they, they, so they like to meet So somebody else produces something else, which is unique uh, and, and you can access it from the mainframe. All you have to do is to convert your, your document into HTML. What? HTML? No, we use Microsoft Word. So, the next, so now we're going to have a PC base that have replicated servers, and everybody will just convert your document into Microsoft Word. So whoever gets up there and tries to promote one of these things has tomato things on or some part of your things, depending on what it is that how it is that trying to constrain what piece of equipment you're going to use, what piece of hardware you use, what operating system you're supposed to use, where you're supposed to get your software from. All right, these are things. Obviously, if I was going to try to make a virtual system in which you should be able to put anything. And that was the power of it. The power of hypertext link is being able to link to anything. Then I couldn't ask anything else. You can't ask everybody to put in their hands, for example, that they should pay me tuppence for every link. That wasn't. Can't ask anything else. Can't ask, for example, that they have to put it in in a particular language. And you have to be, you have to be very careful in designing the web to make sure that we're not only independent of languages using Unicode and whatever. Or all various other aspects of culture. It's very easy to design a system, which assumes that you're using the Western culture when you design a culture or something. So, the list of things, which includes also making sure that the web uh, is uh, accessible for people with disabilities, which is in fact, we're all Facebook's 